divide by hand again. With algebra calculators, so you know how to do it in that first section. I've got my steps listed here. These steps are just something you can write down to remind you what the next step is. If you get stuck at a part, you can look back at these notes, you can look back at these steps, and it kind of tells you which way to go. So when we talk about division, it's important to remember that division is the opposite of multiplication. Just like addition and subtraction are opposites, multiplication and division are opposites. It's always good to know your multiplication tables for division as well. So I have my steps listed here. We're going to go through them while looking at this first question. All right, we have 20 divided by 5. Number 1 says the first number goes in the house, the second outside. So what that means is I build my house like this. The first number goes inside the house. The second number goes outside. Divide the ones place. All right. We're going to ignore this right here because we don't have a multi-digit divisor. That means this, this 5, what's 10, 12, 25. Then we would uh, worry about this. We're not going to worry about it right now. So 5 goes into 2. None, we, right? We can't divide that in. So we're going to move a place over. So 5 times 0. So it says subtract the multiple. So 5 times 0 is 0. So I'm going to subtract that. 2 times 0 is still 2. I'm going to bring down the next place value. So I'm going to bring this down 20. 5 goes into 20. So like I said, it's important to know your multiplication facts. So if I said, okay, 5 times 1 will give me 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4. 4 is 20, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I'm looking for. That's that number that I'm looking for. So 5 goes into 20 four times because 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract that. We have no remainder. So the answer is 4. Again, if you know your multiplication tables, you could probably look at that and go, oh, well, 5 times 4 is 20, so I know my answer has to be 4. And as we move on, it's going to get a little more complicated. They're going to get a little longer. So let's look at the next one. 36 divided by 6. First number goes in the house. Second number goes outside. 6 goes into 3. None, no times. Right? And 6 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 3. Move down. That's 6. Again, that's just me following this. Subtract bring down the next place value. We're going to repeat until we can't invite anymore. 3 goes into 36. Well, I know that 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 times 6 gives me 36, and I'll have no remainder. So 36 divided by 6 gives us 6. All right, let's look at one that's a little different. So we have 80 divided by 80. So first number goes in the house, second number goes outside. So eight goes into eight how many times? One. Eight times one is eight. I'm going to subtract the multiple. I'm going to bring down that zero. Well, eight times goes into zero, zero times. And then we have nothing else over here. So we have to keep going until we get through all of these place values. So my answer is going to be 10. All right, I'm going to have you look at the next one on your own, and then we'll come back and review it. Start at the top. 96, the first number goes in the house, second one comes out. So we want to look at this one. Hmm. If you have a multi-digit divisor, you must start at that place value. So we have two place values here. We cannot put that in that place value. So we're going to start with the whole number. 96. How many times does 12 go into 96? So again, I can sit and go, okay, well, I know 
12 times 4 will give me 48. So I need more than that. Um, 12 times 6, give me 72. Okay, still more. And this is a totally acceptable way of looking at division because I know that division and multiplication are opposites and it's gonna get me to my right answer. So I know 12 times eight is 96, which means 12 goes into 96, eight times evenly. All right, look at one more and then in the next video we'll get a little more fun. have 800 divided by 10. So what you should have done is put 800 in the house, 10 outside of the house. All right, so this has two place values, so we have to look at two place values. So 10 goes into 80 how many times? Well, if we sit there and we thought, okay, 10 times two is 20, times three is 30, times five is 50, times eight is 80. So 10 times eight will give you 80. So I'm gonna put the eight up here. So 10 times eight is 80. Okay, subtract that, give me zero. Bring down that zero. 10 goes into zero, zero times. I'm left with zero. My answer is 80. All right, in the next video, we're gonna get a little more complicated, do some longer division.